I have been emailing dancers that have gone viral, Salif, Kida, The Twins, um, Fiction. Um, what else have I done? Reached out to you. I also work at a bar. Philadelphia Eagles came by and did an event and I uh, swoop. The mascot was there and I walked over to the guy who was part of the crew and I asked him, hey, look, I have a viral, I have a video that went viral and I have this idea. I came up with this right on the spot. I was like, hey, what if I showed up to an Eagles game? And I walked up to Swoop and I shook his hand and we did like this handshake dance that I did in the video. So um, some of these things kind of come together in the moment, but mm -hmm. even that is still, uh, that's still a, a technique or a skill that people should do. Whereas like you see an opportunity and you just go for it. Cause that's how I yeah. went viral. I just went for it. So I just quickly came up with the idea, asked them if they would be down, showed them the video real quick, showed them the numbers, showed the legitimacy of the fact that I went viral, showed that it went viral on multiple platforms, showed all the followers I gained, and then asked for specific emails from coordinators and other people that are, that are important to approve of me just being at the Eagles game. Um, posting more videos. This is very important. If you go viral, you should go live on that platform the day you go viral. I, told I you went that. live on TikTok because I found out I can go live because I watch your channel. You took and you said that. <laughs> <clears throat> and I was like, yo, I'm gonna go live right now. I went live, 300 people were in my live. The numbers were going up even faster. So I was already getting followers because of the video, but then followers were tacked on because it'll let you know how many people followed you through your live. And people were sending me pandas, which is like a form of TikTok currency. Mm -hmm. And um which translates to real money, by the way. Yeah. Yes, it does. <laughs> and then um Twitter, I was very active on Twitter, respond on all of them. I was active on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, responding to all the comments. And I, I, you know, just being funny and joking here and there and just interacting with all the people, engaging with the people, um, answering all the questions. I, I say hi to everyone who pops up on the live to acknowledge every person. Like, I don't care if your name is user 522-7926-262. I will say the whole thing. It's just like mm -hmm. sense of humor. So it's not just showing that I'm a dancer, but showing the other parts of me that I know are also just as marketable personality and being someone that people like outside of dancing. The same thing happened on Instagram when funny hood vids posted it on their account. I went live and that was the most amount of people that had ever like been on my live all at once. It was about 60, 70 people oh. uh, brought some people on live with me and we talked and they asked me like, yo, how did it happen? So I repeated the story so many times over the past month. Um, posting my own content, wearing this shirt more often, um, <laughs> plans to do a dance video to hot. I emailed the Jabberwockies, like I spam them, which is a technique, uh, you know, that you have, uh, you've said to do, you know, like, don't feel like you're bothering them or annoying them. The point is to get their attention. Right. So, um, I emailed a lot of, uh, other dance companies, um, uh, DM'd a lot of other dance Instagram accounts that post viral videos, dance viral videos. And I just would like send the same message over and over, like uh, like once every couple of days. So those are the things that I've done. Got you. So I see that you have a great ability to move in the moment, recognize those opportunities and act on them. At least you, you, you've been, you know, on a hot streak right, uh, right now. And then you're talking about following up, hitting people up to get more, more things posted, all that stuff. Now, tell me, what's the plan, though? Like, in terms of a dancer, then, what does that look like in, to, okay, yeah, you work with these other guys, or you, you actually do get a video with King Vader, or, okay, you actually do end up on the Philadelphia Eagles field and do that dance in the middle of the game, and then they put you on the jumbotron and go viral from content and all that kind of stuff okay that happens what what does sustainability look like for you that'll be taking uh me as a dancer and my skill set and this moment that is now a part of my resume bringing it to agencies bringing it to auditions call castings and uh, hopefully getting signed to an agency. That's a direction that a lot of dancers go. And through the agencies, they get booked for 
you know, music videos, commercials, uh, you know, they go on tour, stuff like that is the goal of mine is to be able to tour with artists. Uh, you know, I have dreams with performing with certain favorite artists, but it's not like I would turn it down if it's someone that I don't listen to, but it's, it's all about being able to, um, build 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 a larger platform from this point on and create consistent work and start getting paid and stuff like that mm. Wait.